Hi, I'm Diane Carnegie, Superintendent of Lake County Schools, and I'm coming to you on this Super Sunday with an important message about health and safety in our schools. As we prepare to welcome students back to school on Tuesday, we have to face the sobering reality that COVID is still very much a factor. We keep hearing about the rising numbers of positive cases and hospitalizations, particularly here in Florida. I'm concerned about the safety of our students and staff, and I know that you are too. Discussions about how to mitigate the spread of this virus have unfortunately become divisive. Regardless of where you stand on this issue, we as a school district and a community need to work together to ensure the safety of our students and our staff. Governor DeSantis signed an executive order that prohibits school districts from mandating that students wear masks at the risk of losing state funding. But health experts continue to recommend universal indoor masking in our schools, regardless of vaccination status, for the protection of the ones wearing the mask and others that they may encounter. So at the urging of state and local health officials, I am encouraging district staff to wear a mask while at work, and I'm also encouraging parents to ask their children to wear a mask while at school. But with that said, the decision is yours to make and your decision will be respected. Now I've asked you to make an important decision, but I want you to know that we are doing our part too. This summer, we began upgrading the air filtration system in every school, and this is one of the top strategies for mitigating the spread of the virus. Additionally, cleaning protocols have been enhanced, including replacing air filters as required by the manufacturer. And we are also cleaning classrooms daily, doing a deep disinfecting cleaning process on high touch surfaces every month. This includes door handles, sink handles, desktops, and other high touch surfaces. We are working with the health department to bring more vaccine events to our schools and to provide COVID testing in our schools for those that would need easy access. With so many students returning to face-to-face -face learning, social distancing for the three feet that is recommended will be very difficult in some classrooms, but I am asking teachers to social distance students in their classrooms to the greatest extent possible. We are working with both of our unions, for teachers and for our support employees to make sure that we are doing what's right regarding leave for employees who may be out on quarantine. And with the exception of a mask mandate, we are using the same safety protocols that proved to be very successful in our schools last year. We will continue to monitor our community's positivity rates in partnership with the local health department and maintain our COVID dashboard to ensure ongoing transparency. In the meantime, if you have any questions about health and safety in our schools, please talk first to your child's teacher or a school administrator. And if you need help beyond the school level, contact us at questions at lake.k12.fl.us. We are all in this together, and I wish you all the very best as we begin this new school year on Tuesday.